A out. A out. Okay, so before. Oh, not Jalabuso. No way. I should tell everybody. Can we just talk about that? This great man, Eric, get over here. God, get in it. Yes, get over here. You have to peek your head in so I can tell the story. Is in my presence today. Get over here. There he is. <laughs> okay, that's Eric. And we were at a shoot last week and we were playing a song by Cardi B. And she says, chillin' poolside. This man thinks that she says, chillapusa. And decided to call everybody that all for the rest of the day. And didn't find out that it says, chillin' poolside until a week later. So let's just. Well, the new word out of trend is chillapusa, whatever. I'll tell you what it means one day, but I'll figure it out. Okay. Welcome back to Madison Kate on the Trend. And today, a very requested video that's simple, but I actually struggle with this with my clients all the time. I curl their hair and they're like, I have no clue how to do this at home. So the most requested video I've ever gotten is how do I curl my hair or how I do it on other people. It's all the same. So here it is. Ready for it? Okay. <laughs> so first of all, I use a Babyliss Pro and this is the curling iron I use at home, but in the salon I use a bio ionic curling iron and both of them are one and a quarter inch So that's what I use on everybody on me no matter what length of hair normally So we'll just jump right in to get this hair in check Okay so first start off by brushing your hair obviously with a wet brush if my clients or anybody is not using a wet brush, I dislike you. So please start, okay? So either way, start on what side, but clamp it this way. You see what I'm doing? And the biggest thing to curling here is leaving your ends out. I don't like super curled up hair, so leaving that end out makes your hair look so much better and the curl just looks more natural, beachy, and pretty. So make sure you do that. Um, I feel like right now I obviously have short hair, so sometimes I completely leave the end out and sometimes I pull it through. If you have longer hair, I normally pull it through. And then for this, I'm obviously not trying to make my hair like bounce up a ton. So I like sometimes just leave the end out. Okay. This Chilapuso in here is something else. And then clamp just like that and then roll it and then literally let it go. Just like that. I normally spray texture spray before also, but my hair's already a little crispy, so like I don't even think I need all that. And then I take the end of this iron and sometimes pull out the curl a little bit if I feel like it's a little too curly. It's hard with my hair because I blow it out with like a curve at the end and I probably shouldn't have done that. But it honestly, curling hair is actually practice and my clients are always like, I don't understand. And I'm like, just keep trying at home. And just follow the motion that I use with the curling iron. And I always do this where I like unwrap it. So whoever needs that motion, follow it. Also, 
for everybody that has their iron on 450 degrees, you do not need to cook your hair at that heat and that's why it's breaking off. Mine is literally at 210 right now. So turn your irons down, people. Like I said, just smooth it out, especially around my face. I don't want it to curl up too much. And I always normally curl in one direction, like this side, back, this side, back. But sometimes people switch up the direction, which I feel like if you have super short hair, that's actually cute. My hair obviously is short, but I'm just gonna do it this way today. Maybe we'll switch it up another day. I feel like that is the unwind that nobody understands. So curl it up, unwrap once and pull it through. I feel like that's the challenge for all my clients. So for the front pieces, I want them to be like not too curly either. So I try to do like one thing and then like let it go. Like I really don't keep the heat on long at all. Like that. Even though it kind of looks a little crazy. Another thing before you're doing this is make sure you are using a heat protectant and an oil because I use both, especially even when blow drying or anything. Don't use your hot tools without heat protectants. And if you're lazy on products, there is a professional L'Oreal product at my salon called 10 in 1 and it literally is 10 products in one. So if you don't know what to do with your hair or you need a curling lesson or Whatever you need, come book with me at Bloom. Let's promote myself really quick out there. For all the hair care advice. And sometimes if you're like really struggling with getting your ends to be like more smooth and your hair is bouncing up too much, sometimes people take a straightener and literally like do it on the last inch of their hair. I just try not to do that because I'm trying to use as least heat as possible. So I don't want to like go over anything, especially because on me, my ends are obviously are the most fragile. Okay, so after curling it, I usually let it like sit for a second and then I might do a little texture spray at the end now. I'm gonna use a Orbe. This is their thick dry finishing spray and it's a texture spray. Okay, one, it smells really good and it works really well, but after I put that in and I let my hair like cool off a little bit because that helps cold, hold the curl, I literally just do like a brush through with my fingers and it's loose and beachy and cute and just gives you some body and it's literally the same technique on longer hair. I just wrap it more times. So I'll either curl my extensions once, once I put those babies back in or I'll get one of my friends with all the extensions that I could show you more. But that's the hair curl. 
fea. 